Hey guys, uh, welcome to this video. Uh, real quick before I get started, um, if you have not already, go ahead and join our free public Facebook group. And the link to that will be in the video and in the description as well. So anyway, getting into the video, this video is going to cover the difference between a churn and burn style store versus a long term branded type store. And this is a difference that not many people understand or most people don't even um, think about what type of store they they have they're just moving forward with one of them so before we get into it I'm going to say that 99% of stores are churn and burns so getting right into it so what is a churn and burn store so a churn and burn is a store that's built with the short term in mind with the primary goal being fast large amounts of money generated as quickly as possible and some common characteristics of a churn and burn store is the primary traffic source is typically, if not always, going to be just Facebook advertising. And then these ads are usually run directly to product pages with the main goal being to just generate one upfront sale. So it would just be an ad that's like, check out this product, and then you send it to the page and your goal is just to generate that one sale. So the typical strategy is run ads and then upsell them as much as possible on that one sale so you'll upsell them a bunch of products on the one purchase and then you send out your abandoned cart emails and you retarget people and that's it and you just pretty much rinse and repeat this whole strategy and this as i said this probably sounds familiar because this is what 99 percent of people are doing and also there is a minimal focus on branding customer service um, attaining product reviews and developing a brand culture and getting fans and what I mean by fans is just people that become extremely loyal to your brand and uh, like associate um, happiness and positive emotions with your brand so a good example of this is Starbucks you can think of how many people um, have positive associations with Starbucks and um, how many people are fans of Starbucks. Churn and Burns usually don't focus on cultivating fans or branding too much. They're just running ads to generate as much money as they can up front. And there's also a minimal focus on email marketing, SEO, and content marketing. So pretty much Churn and Burns are just in and out. So you can do high revenue numbers, but typically they're going to putter out after a few months. So a lot of the case studies um, on YouTube and a lot of videos that you see where people have high revenue numbers, um, it isn't always the case, but most of the time it is going to be a churn and burn style store. So those numbers may be like that for a few months, but they're probably not going to be like that in a few years if the store even exists in a few years. So that's what a churn and burn is. So now let's go over what a long term store is. So a long-term store is a store built with the long-term in mind, obviously. The goal is a longer-term sustainable revenue source that continuously grows and can eventually be sold. So some common characteristics of a long-term store are a strong emphasis on branding. And this is the most important thing. And then I also put in here branding on your products. So most of the time, um, if you're trying to brand effectively at this point you're going to be putting your brand on your products but this is the most important characteristic of a long-term store because you think about all the biggest brands in the world uh, you think about all the big e-commerce names and just big businesses in general they all have uh, excellent branding you sometimes uh, some branding is so strong that you associate certain colors with that brand like you may see red and then you immediately associate coca-cola and that's due to extremely strong branding so another thing uh, most of the time in a long-term store you're going to be ordering in bulk and then getting in-house in-country fulfillment so like a fulfillment center so you'd be ordering your products in bulk from overseas most likely with your branding on them and then you'd be sending them to a local fulfillment center and the reason you'd be doing this is that way you can do custom packaging and also have uh, quicker shipping times because it's easier to build a solid brand with quicker shipping times and another thing is one of the main focuses is going to be on building a list of leads that turn into lifelong customers and fans as we talked about earlier and what I mean by this is you're not just focusing on making one sale and then never um, talking or reaching out to that customer again 
but you're actually trying to cultivate a long-term recurring customer. Uh, so you're trying to develop loyal fans that are following your brand and actually associate with it in a positive way. And there is a strong emphasis on other long-term strategies such as email marketing, SEO, and content marketing. You're also going to be creating a brand culture that people want to be a part of. So um, we go back to the Starbucks example. When you go into a Starbucks, there's usually just a certain culture, a certain vibe that's inside of Starbucks. Um, it's, it's kind of like a relaxed, like people are just coming in, they're getting coffee, they're on their computers, they're on their phones, they're on the free Wi-Fi. It's the culture around the brand that is one of the main reasons why they have such large success. So this is something that a lot of long-term e-commerce stores are going to be focusing on as well. So what is the verdict? Uh, what should you be doing with the, this information? So as I said earlier, 99% uh, of stores are churn and burns. And the majority of people want to do churn and burns, and this is because most people want quick money with the least amount of effort possible. And this is actually a good thing um, for people doing long term because it means there's less legitimate competition because it's relatively easy to crush competitors that are using the churn and burn method. Because since you'd be playing long term, you can spend more on leads, customers, and you're going to dominate a wider array of traffic sources because you'll be doing more than just... Facebook ads. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't want to say that churn and burns are bad because money is money and profit is profit, and the majority of the time it's actually better off to start off with a churn and burn so that way you get some initial money, so that way you understand how e commerce works, so that way you get the experience and you, then you can apply all of the things that you learned from your churn and burns to a longer term store. But one thing to note is that they do have a smaller long-term upside because most likely uh, they're just going to putter out, you're going to shut them down, you're going to start another one. And over time, this is actually going to end up being more work because you have to figure out all these niches to go into, keep finding new products, and this actually ends up being more work than just having one or two just steady long-term style brands because eventually those could be sold in the future. But as I said, um, churn and burns are usually the best way to start for beginners just because you need to get the experience, you need to get used to the process, get used to how selling online works, and you can also use profits from churn and burns to fund a longer term project. So with that being said, that's it for this video. Um, once again, uh, if you have not joined the Facebook group, go ahead and click the link in the video or the description to do that, and I'll see you in another video.